Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jim Saab and I am your host for today. On behalf of Mercedes-Benz India, I extend a warm welcome to all of you. Today, we are here for Mercedes-Benz India's biggest launch of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to see here today brings together futuristic tech and flawless design. The car is an engineering marvel and undoubtedly a game changer. This is the grand premiere. To start the proceedings, I invite Mr. Martin Schwenk, Managing Director and CEO, Mercedes-Benz India, to tell us more about the product. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Uh, good afternoon, friends. Uh, great standing here in front of you on this very special day for us. A very warm welcome for myself, for Mercedes-Benz India. You all had an opportunity to see the magical garage today when coming in. With the magical garage, we want to showcase our competence in technology and innovation. It drives the story of Mercedes-Benz electrification with a creative twist. And it sets the perfect tone for the most important launch of the year the EQS AMG 53. Like many of our accomplishments, the EQS reflects Mercedes-Benz's journey of transformation and reinvention. Invention and reinvention is a part of our foundation. It is part of our DNA. Mercedes-Benz is the original and most valuable luxury car brand in the world. From inventing automobiles to bringing luxury and desire to electric cars, we have come a long way. Our legacy has been that of invention, value and desire. Since the very beginning, Mercedes-Benz has been more than just a car manufacturer. We have stood out as a luxury brand, creating desire and aspiration. Owning and driving a Mercedes was, is, and will be always an extraordinary experience. Mercedes-Benz has set the foundation of the automobile industry. This industry has transformed significantly through the decades. For every era, we have evolved to stay ahead of the curve, be it through our products, custom experiences, or through cutting-edge innovations. The question now is, how do we bring the same desire to the current era? We already make the best car of the world. What can we do to make it better? This is what we hope to answer today. We are convinced that Mercedes-Benz has the most desirable product portfolio in the entire automobile industry. Most car, actually most luxury companies, build their product portfolio based on one or two iconic products. Mercedes-Benz, however, has an entire portfolio of desirable cars, such as the S-Class, the Maybach, the G-Class, or many of other, our other vehicles. This brings us straight to our top-end vehicle strategy. We see great potential to expand our footprint in the top-end segment with fascinating products for our customers. 
This segment has always been the driver and the hallmark of the brand, and it is now the core of our product strategy. We are sharpening the focus of our business model and, at the same time, of our product portfolio to maximize the potential of Mercedes-Benz. We will foster our position as the most desirable luxury car brand. The super luxury segment in our portfolio in India has more than doubled over the last four years. And we expect our share of top-end vehicles to grow in strong double digits over this year. Our core luxury segment, comprising the C-Class and the E-Class and their respective SUV brothers, together with the entry luxury vehicles like the A-Class and the GLA, will continue to remain our main volume drivers. With the EQS, we offer now the first all-electric luxury vehicle in the top-end vehicle segment. While we create desire through new products, we also drive desire through our franchise partners and our highly successful direct-to-customers sales model, which we call Retail of the Future. We launched Retail of the Future in October 2021 until date, we have sold more than 10,000 cars through this new retail model. The sales numbers, along with the high customer satisfaction, ranking are the best indicators of the success of the new business model. You all know that transparency is the foundation of retail of the future, and we are working to enhance this even further. In future, we will not only offer transparent price and current vehicle availability, but we will also increase the visibility into our vehicle stock. For the first time, our customers will be able to select the car in our showrooms, which will be produced within the next eight to 10 or even 12 months. I would like to present another example of transparency today as well. With the upcoming festive season, our customers will want to celebrate by purchasing a new Mercedes-Benz vehicle. Hence, we have kick-started our festive campaign this year much in advance. Through this campaign, we are encouraging customers to book their cars as early as possible. Complete transparency in our communication to customers is extremely important to us, be it around product features, price, or just to ensure that our customers can plan their upcoming festivities and special occasions with their new brand new Mercedes-Benz. Retail of the future is setting a new benchmark in luxury retail. With the MAR 2020 concept, we are now also transforming the physical presence of our franchises into modern, contemporary, and luxurious spaces. In fact, we recently inaugurated the country's first integrated AMG performance center in Ahmedabad. This, this facility also features the new look and feel for display of electric cars, showcasing our future readiness for retailing today's and future EQ models. We will be transforming our entire network with the MER 2020 concept, making our showrooms as desirable as our products. At Mercedes-Benz, we believe that the desire for the brand is created by great products and a sustained many money can't buy experience of our customers. Our AMG Emotion Tours play an important role in creating such personal experiences and memories through special driving events, exciting track days, and Formula One adventures. Here you see a sneak peek taken at a recent Formula One race. We offer the customers a unique opportunity to be part of the entire race 
and to interact with Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. A dream come true for any Formula One fan. And as we speak, we are gearing up to take customers to the Abu Dhabi Formula One race in November. Our customers keep inspiring us to push our boundaries. And we try to meet all their wishes and desires. An example of pushing the boundaries of luxury is through unique collaborations. Here you can see an exclusive edition of the Mercedes Maybach S-Class, created by the famous designer Late Virtual Abloh. A timeless icon that celebrates the extraordinary creativity and talent of its creator. A piece of art that was created in a collaborative design process, a visionary interpretation of sophisticated luxury, unseen, disruptive, and inspiring. Production is in very limited numbers and available exclusively to the most dedicated enthusiasts and collectors of Mercedes-Benz. This is one facet of luxury, but can there be luxury without sustainability? The answer for us is a clear no. As the desire for individual mobility keeps growing, our mission is to balance mobility requirements with sustainability. Mercedes-Benz has defined a roadmap for carbon, a carbon neutral fleet by 2039. By 2022, we will already achieve carbon neutral production across all our manufacturing plants. By 2025, up to 50% of our sales volumes will comprise of ex-EVs. And by 2030, Mercedes-Benz will be ready to go all electric everywhere where the market conditions allow. And by 2039, we aim to achieve complete carbon neutrality. At our first ESG conference, for investors and analysts, we announced measures aimed at cutting CO2 emissions and creating lasting value for all stakeholders. Mercedes-Benz car aims to reduce CO2 emissions by 50% per passenger car over its life cycle by end of this decade. To achieve this goal, there are several key levers that include electrifying the vehicle fleet, charging with green energy, improving battery technology, and extensive use uh, of recycled materials and renewable energy in production. Mercedes-Benz plans to cover more than 70% of its energy needs through renewable energy by 2030. In order to make faster progress in protecting the climate, we need maximum dedication and even more collaboration amongst governments, companies, and the society as a whole. As demand for all electric vehicles rises globally, Mercedes-Benz asserts its global leadership in electric mobility by driving electrification across all the sub-brands. The global portfolio currently includes six all-electric models, the EQA, the EQB, the EQC, the EQE, the EQS, and the EQV. The EQS SUV and the EQE SUV and the EQT will join the model lineup very soon. And many, many of these models will also make their way to India eventually. A brilliant example of tech-driven personalization is the MBUX hyperscreen, which is debuting today with the EQS 53 AMG. Mercedes-Benz
Yeah, I think uh, when new cars excite customers, new technologies make them even more curious, our customers. And with the rapid progress in the application of technology in the car, like the hyperscreen, we see ourselves even more as a software-driven tech company. As more co customers adopt EVs, demand for tech-driven personalization and the sensory product experience will increase. Consequently, we are embedding latest technology in our EV architectures, vehicle software and user interfaces. The EQS today is way ahead in terms of technology, be it in digital applications or range of the car. But for the future, we have already shown to the world with the EQXX how we, into, how we intend to break through the existing technological barriers. The EQXX underlines where our entire company is headed, building the world's most desirable electric cars. Our focus on sustainability and technology is well appreciated by our customers and reflects strongly in our global sales numbers. Mercedes-Benz global sales for battery electric vehicles rose by 135% in this uh, half, half year 122. We sold more than 45,000 units full electric cars as such. Coming to India, we are firmly leading the luxury EV market in the country. Mercedes-Benz pioneered the luxury EV segment with the EQC in 2020. The EQC met with encouraging customer response and we sold out our entire allocation. After a start first in six cities, we have subsequently expanded the EQC network to 50 cities and 94 outlets to cater for the increasing demand for the vehicle. With the EQC, we have now the largest car park for any luxury EVs in India. At Mercedes-Benz, we see electric as the future, and EVs will define the future of mobility. Foreseeing the strong demand for luxury EVs, we expect electric vehicles to, around, to account for around 25% of our sales volumes in five years. This number was unthinkable even two years ago when we launched the EQC in India. I can confirm that we are fully committed and very bullish to a full electric future and to an electric brand Mercedes-Benz in India. We are very excited to announce that we have an aggressive launch plan for new electric and new luxury EVs in India. Starting today, Mercedes-Benz will launch uh, three new electric vehicles here in the coming four months. These new electric vehicles will advance the EV adoption and we will reach sooner or later, or rather sooner, the tipping point in the transition. The top-end Mercedes-AMG EQS 53 Formatic Plus, which we launched today, will set a benchmark in luxury performance EVs in India. This will be followed by the EQS 580 Formatic, which we will roll out, out of our assembly lines next month. The AMG EQS 53 and the EQS 580 are the first all-electric vehicles from our new dedicated electric vehicle architecture platform. The Made in India EQS launch will be followed by another new luxury EV, our EQB. We will launch the EQB by mid-quarter four, and it will be Mercedes-Benz India's first seven-seater EV offering. With these three distinct electric vehicles, Mercedes-Benz is laying a strong foundation for the transition to an electric-only future. 
Now let me share some snippets of the EQS, which we will out at the assembly line in Pune very soon. The EQS is designed to exceed the customer's expectations, uh, even of the most demanding. To earn the S in the name, a model has really to stand out. And the EQS does exactly that, very silently. The EQS is the first model in the Mercedes EQ family to be based on the modular architecture for our luxury electric vehicles. It is also the first purpose-designed car from this dedicated electric architecture, which we call internally EVA2. EQS combines effortlessly technology, design and functionality with connectivity that drivers and passengers will equally enjoy. With a CD value of 0.2, it sets a new aerodynamic benchmark for any production vehicle. Supported by artificial intelligence, the EQS makes customers' everyday life easier in many ways. It is truly a zero compromise luxury EV for today's progressive customers. We have seen earlier how the MBUX has radically simplified the operations of a Mercedes-Benz. With the EQS, we now debut the MBUX hyperscreen. That is the largest display ever in a serious production car. Let us take a look. Hi there, I'm the new MBUX Hyperscreen and I'm here to assist you on many new levels. Now, you'll never have to worry about missing an exit. The navigation will always be on the screen, even if you make a call, turn on the massage or change the music. My artificial intelligence will also know which of these options to suggest on your personal screen, because I'm continuously learning. I'll optimize my suggestions based on your previous feedback and patterns, combined with parameters like time, location or temperature. I'm looking for the MBUX hyperscreen is the smartest screen ever to feature in a Mercedes. This 56-inch widescreen is both brain and nervous system of the EQS. The MBUX hyperscreen is the natural progression of the MBUX, taking it to the next level of sophistication and ease of use. With the so-called zero-layer design, the user does not have to scroll through submenus or give complicated voice commands. The key applications are always on the top level of, on the screen, intelligently adapting to the driver. Sanjosh will take you through the details of that in his presentation. While technology plays a key role in creating desire, our customers are increasingly wishing for sustainability in the products they use. To cater to these wishes, Mercedes is already today thinking about tomorrow. And the new EQS is designed with this in mind. The components of the EQS that are made from resource-saving materials weigh in total 80 kilograms. The steel processed for the EQS at the stamping plants consists to 80% of secondary steel, most of which is obtained from recycled steel scrap. Also in other components of the EQS, precious natural resources are also being preserved. For example, the floor coverings of the EQS use a new yarn made of regenerated nylon. They are made of processed fishing nets and fabric scraps. Other examples are the cable ducts of the EQS, which are made of recycled house household plastic. And the seat covers are manufactured by 100% of recycled 
PET bottles. With all these and other efforts, Mercedes-Benz is steadily reducing the amount of critical raw material used per vehicle. The aim is to design our vehicles in a resource-conserving and environmentally friendly manner over their entire life cycle. With the EQS range, anxiety will be the least of concerns for our customers. At its launch, the EQS will hold the distinction of being the longest range EV in India by a very far margin. Without any further ado, let me introduce you to the new EQS. This is for you, India. Wow. Martin, it truly looks incredible. D like it's descending from the sky down onto Earth. I request all the photojournalists to come to the front for the photo opportunity. <laughs> Martin, if you could look to your left first. Huh? Other and side then well. right here in the center as well? You know, I can go this side and I have never tried it this way, but I'll do whether that also works, yeah? <laughs> Martin, if you could look to your right as well. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wait, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> this side only? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll try this one. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank thank you, you photojournalists. Yeah. Thank you. Center, yeah. <laughs> no, that looks too. <laughs> huh? No, 
Namaste. Media, if you could please settle down, there's more to the show. Thank you, photojournalists. One more last time. Thank you. Huh? I think that's enough <laughs> photos. <laughs> More than enough photos. <laughs> Back to you, Martin. Thanks, guys. If you could settle down now, be no minute bed time. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the EQS. And 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 what is that that sound? It has to be an AMG. There's hardly anyone among us who is not a fan of AMG. AMG stands for Supreme Automotive Performance, Exclusivity and Driving Dynamics. The company founded by Hans-Werner Aufrecht and Erhard Melcher in 1967 has consolidated its position as an extremely successful performance brand with numerous successes in motorsport and in the development of unique road-going vehicles. Mercedes-AMG's performance is well documented by the success on the racetracks of the Formula One and the DTM circuit. The beginning for Mercedes-Benz racing was rather humble as we started 121 years ago in the Nice Week racing contest which was a major motorsports event back in time. No less than two milestones in the history of Mercedes-Benz are marked by this race 121 years ago. The era of the modern car began at the Nice Week with the victory for the Mercedes 35 HP made by Daimler Motorengesellschaft. At the same time, the Mercedes brand name was also born. Emil Jelinek, at that time the most important dealer for Daimler Motorengesellschaft, named the high performance car he had commissioned after his favorite daughter, Mercedes. In the years leading up to this, to this the motorsport enthusiast and business person had already competed in a number of races under the pseudonym Monsieur Mercedes. On 23rd June 1902, the DMG, the Daimler Motor Gesellschaft, had applied to register the brand name Mercedes as a trademark. And on 26th September of the same year, that brand name was registered and legally protected. 70 years after the Nice Week, in 1971, AMG turned the motor racing world upside down, introducing the 6.8 liter 300 SEL, also called the Red Pig. The 300 SEL 6.8 captures the first big AMG success over 50 years ago. It secured the second place at the 24 hours of Spa Francorchamps. This race put AMG on the motorsport sport maps overnight. From there to today, it has been a very successful journey for Mercedes-Benz and AMG. Today, Mercedes holds the record for the most consecutive 
construction titles in Formula One with eight world championships between 2014 and 2021. When we talk about AMG and performance cars, we have to remember that the brand was born on the racetrack. Competence and technology gained on the circuits are actively used to develop stylish, safe and high-performing AMGs. In fact, as you can see on the screen, Mercedes AMG 1 will be rolled out very soon. Backed by this rich heritage of AMG, we present to you the first ever electric AMG, the Mercedes AMG EQS 53. Have it, ladies. And maybe, maybe you start here and then you go like this. Yeah. Excuse me. Guys, guys, guys. Excuse me. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The first electric AMG Mercedes AMG EQS 53 4Matic Plus, driven out by Martin Schwenk. MD and CEO, Mercedes-Benz India, and Santosh Ayer, VP Sales and Marketing, Mercedes-Benz India. Could I request both of you, Martin and Santosh, to come and stand by the car in the center?
Shall we move to the other car? They'll, they'll take a thousand shots otherwise. I know. No, it's, it's not true. You're a big draw. Central. Thank you, Martin. Santosh, I request you to take us through the product. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks to all the media friends. Please be seated. Yes. Well, good afternoon, everyone from my side as well. It's a pleasure and honor to be here and present to you the all new Mercedes AMG EQS 53 Formatic. The AMG EQS 53 is one of the first all-electric ambassador to a performance segment and joins the world's fastest family of AMG cars. The innovative and holistic design in this car is based on an all-new vehicle architecture. It differs from any combustion vehicle at the first glance with a very sporty and modern look. We have created a strategy for the EQS that is focused on sustainable modern luxury for a conscious and connected urban community. Let me give you a short insight on our EQS customers. Who are they? In our view, based on our research in India, they are EV pioneers and progressive leaders who want to participate in a better future with the world's most innovative electric car. It appeals to its audience. We call them hedonist or uh, performers. Uh, it's tailor-made for these enthusiasts who are looking for a combination of innovative electric mobility in a luxurious package coupled with sportiness and agile driving dynamics. Well, let me go closer to this car and try to explain a bit more in detail. Uh, Martin already explained a lot about EQS, but the AMG is distinctive and some key highlights what differentiates this car. The EQS is made on an all-electric architecture with a purpose design. This allows designers to create a radical design and therefore if you see the front view it is characterized by the AMG specific vertical struts that you see uh, and also the chrome is fully integrated into these vertical lines. Uh, there is also an AMG lettering which makes it more distinctive and the signature AMG A-wing design that is on contrast that you can see right in the bottom. So from a distance, a customer or anyone can clearly make out it's an AMG EQS uh, and differentiates from the 580 that we will be introducing in the future. Moving on, the other highlight are these digital lights that you see in this front. Uh, we debuted this in our new S-Class and now this light module uh, is extremely powerful LEDs where the light is refracted and directed by 1.3 million micro mirrors. 
When the ignition is switched on, the digital light welcomes the driver with a very special light show. And it also says welcome. On the other hand, uh, when you sign off from the car, there is also a goodbye which comes from these digital lights. Another feature which adds to the digital light is the adaptive high beam assist. Uh, of course, uh, this helps to automatically adjust the headlamp for the oncoming vehicle and also one need not uh, you know, uh, uh, shift into a dip beam when you are driving this car. Well, the heart of this car and generally when we uh, launch a combustion uh, engine, we discuss about the powertrain. Here it's a bit different, uh, but it has the AMG DNA and I will explain to you why. At the heart of this car uh, is uh, a powertrain with two powerful motors. The total output is 560 kilowatt and a torque of 1020 newton meters. It accelerates 0 to 100 in just 3.4 seconds at a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour. And this car is also equipped with the most powerful 400 volt lithium ion battery. While speaking of battery pack, uh, we have kept exhibits outside, uh, but I think uh, uh, here clearly this has the largest battery pack with 107.8 kilowatt hour. Uh, and, the, uh, and, and the new generation batteries also have a significantly high energy density. The unique battery management system, which is signature to the AMG, is also focused on performance and range and very different from the 580s. The power of these motors is delivered to a fully variable AMG Formatic Plus. That's how the transmission works. And the system continuously distributes the torque between the front and the rear axles, depending on certain driving conditions. It can even send 100% of the power to the rear axle. And this is music to ears for all the enthusiasts who love to do drifting with ease. So that's about the package when you look at the, the performance of the car, the, the battery pack uh, which is coming with it, also the way the styling is. But when you look at the styling, it also, I will just walk around to the next car uh, on my right, which is again uh, uh, here, right there, to see the single boat design that you can see here. It's clearly differentiated from all angles uh, with the one boat design. It clearly stands out as you see here. And uh, it is also the most aerodynamic car, but there is a difference. The AMG coefficient drag of the EQS 53 AMG is 0.23. And the reason why it's a bit higher than the EQS is also because of the large alloys, the 21 inch alloys that you see right here. Also, we have given flush door handles that you see here. They pop out when you want to enter the car and again retracts when the car is driven. This again is done to ensure we have a better aerodynamic coefficient drag. These cars have 21 inch alloys, as I mentioned, uh, the matte black wheels and the red painted calipers also are attractive and ensures that it's a distinctive AMG from a distance. The tires also in this car are developed specifically to ensure that the rolling resistance uh, is at the least. Uh, these are special profile rubber compounds that are developed to take high torque, powerful acceleration of different forces and ensuring that it has a long life. Let me now request to turn the car a bit so that we can also see the rear design of this car. Well, the designers have stuck to the brief of sensual purity. And here, if you see the coupe-like rear that you can see right now coming up, uh, this uh, really uh, is, uh, reflects the design philosophy of sensual purity, as I mentioned. The flush tailgate that you see here, it's all incorporated right in the rear. Uh, very precise gaps that you can also see a lot of engineering which has gone here. And more importantly, uh, quite a smart thing of placing the rear camera inside the three-pointed star. Functionally, it also protects it from dirt uh, so that uh, whenever the rear camera is used, it's clean. And the highlight of the rear is also the innovatively designed 3D helix LED lamps that runs uh, on, on, on the entire car. Well, uh, the car also has enormous boot space. Maybe I will just try to open this one. Yes. Uh, so yeah, right there you see a huge boot space, 610 liters. You can comfortably pack a couple of golf bags easily. One can actually take a nap here. And uh, it also has enough space for a mini spare wheel when you are planning to go for a long drive. Also, certain cables and stuff is all neatly packed inside. Maybe uh, I'm not sure if you can show the, to the audience. So it's all kept here, neatly tucked in. It's below the load flow, so it doesn't take up into the baggage space. And uh, all the cables and necessary charging, uh, which is required, charging cables are all put into this car. Yeah, so that's about, uh, you can say, the design and style. I think the car speaks for itself. 
but there is a lot of story in the interior and let me now go to the driver seat of that car and try to explain to you the interior which is again uh, uh, defined by a st by the style defining amg features so let me just get into the car The moment you s is it out? The moment you sit into this car, uh, I think the first thing that you realize is this huge screen. I think Martin explained about the hyper screen, but I will take this opportunity to also show you a small video clip before I show to you in live what this can do. Can we have the video, please? I think the video did justice to in terms of what the hyperscreen can do. What I will try and do is just to show you how this works. So I start the car and instantly you see that it is able to welcome me. In the past launches, whenever I have launched a car, uh, generally I have spoken about fingerprint recognition, biometric, I have also spoken about speech recognition, but uh, and that's there in the S class and the C class. With the EQS, we have taken this to the next new level and the EQS can do facial recognition. So the moment I was in the steering wheel with the two cameras on the steering is able to recognize me and it's able to directly set my profile so that uh, I don't even need to do the next steps there. Uh, so that's one, one key feature. Also when you look at this, there are three screens all well integrated into one uh, behind the glasses. The driver display right on my front is a 12.3 inch uh, OLED screen. The central display is a huge 17.7 inch screen and of course uh, for the first time we also show the front passenger display of a 12.3 inch screen right here. But the big screen also means many of us miss the feedback and I, I, uh, many of the media friends also say that you know screens in cars we miss the knobs at times and uh, maybe which is better and our engineers have even thought about it. For example, when you operate the air conditioning controls uh, you get an haptic feedback and this is because we have 12 actuators which we have kept below these screens and that gives you a tactile feedback when you use often functions like aircon, music and many other players. So it's a, it's a very intelligent way to use a screen at the same time you get a reverse feedback and haptic feedback when you use some of these digital screen elements. The next thing is the zero layer concept. I think Martin touched upon it in his presentation. All I can say is um, on a used case basis the most important applications that you generally use in the car uh, the customer can get it right on top of the screen. I will give another example. Uh, Many a times we call a particular person, a spouse, a friend on a particular day or when we leave for office or when we leave for work. This car is able to track and also able to suggest you that it's time to call this person. It comes right there on the top of the screen. Of course, you have the right to either accept the suggestion or take it out. So uh, these are practical use cases on, on any of the weekdays where one can use the, uh, the zero layer concept, really intuitive and make it more user friendly as such. Uh, moving on, uh, the Hey Mercedes also now explains how to connect the vehicle to a smartphone for example or you can even ask where is the first aid kit in this car. N uh, hopefully it's not required but you know a quick access and it's more intelligent than ever. This is an AMG launch and therefore I will sp focus more on the AMG specific points and uh, the AMG customers are also data geeks. They want more data out of the car. So let me give an example. So if you go here to the AMG performance on here one can see the energy flow so it says that the car is ready to be driven 86% of the energy right there when you drive the car it also shows which powertrain and how 
the zero degrees that you see here when i'm turning the steering you can already see the at, at what degrees the, the the front and the rear axles are both operating at and most importantly the engine which is the motor now in this case you can also see the front and the rear you can see what uh, power what uh, what are the charge there more importantly what is the temperature on the front and the rear so when you take this car on the track on any of the uh, for really pushing this car hard you have all the vital parameters to really drive this car and take the max out of it so that's something for the uh, the, the data geeks uh, as such the co passenger i already mentioned that there is a 12 uh, there is a 12.3 in screen here uh, what we do is we rely on, on an intelligent camera based locking logic as well so that is uh, this camera detects that i as a driver am i looking into the front passenger's uh, area and if that happens it automatically dims the overall screen so we take full precaution for the distraction if any to be caused by this car and we are able to manage that also if there is no front passenger then this light uh, uh, then then this just gives a digital image and it is not a distraction to the customer the second thing we also see on a day to day basis is uh, we are waiting to pick up a friend or a spouse for shopping and we don't know how to spend time in the car you go to the app session and here we have games for example like the tetris the sudoku the shuffle puck uh, and all these games and even more which are available for downloads these are multiplayer game format on the front passenger seat and one can make the best use of this also to kill time when you are waiting uh, for a friend or for anyone else there is a lot i can keep going on and on on the hyper screen and i can actually take rest of the day but looking at the time constraint i will stop here and maybe i will focus a bit on the other elements in the interior design well uh, if i go into yeah if i go into the steering wheel and i think I'll, maybe the camera person can help in showing the paddle shift in these cars and many of you will be wondering what does a paddle shift do in an ev as such but let me explain briefly this is something that is not a gear but it is there to set the recuperation level into different modes the driver can manually select the deacceleration in three stages in this process the high voltage battery is charged by converting the mechanical rotary motion with the electrical energy and the driver can also adjust the the level of recuperation you know strong medium and no recuperation uh, a simple use case is somebody now recently uh, you know going to pune for example and you saw that big traffic jam in lonavala and you are stuck for now 6 hours there is an anxiety can my battery charge up just use these pedals shift into a mode do single pedal driving and this car you can do one pedal driving with this you can actually recuperate energy you can actually you don't need to go to a charging station you can recuperate on the go on your way and you still gain additional uh, kilometers with this kind of a function moving on to the steering wheel it's a classical amg uh, wheel with napa leather uh, here as such but when you look at these knobs there are two knobs given and this is again this is uh, uh, clearly an amg dynamic select driving mode so if i now go back here there are five functions there is a slippery mode that you see uh, the individual mode uh, there is an comfort mode sports modes and sport plus what's critical is you can actually adjust using the other knob also uh, the different drive modes maybe i will try to show here and you can still adjust the suspension settings the drive settings even the sound experience and i will come to that in a while uh, about the amg sound the last thing on the driver seat before i uh, move on is also active ambient lighting for many of you ambient lighting is a symbol of a mercedes benz because this gives a very different ambience in the car gives you a comfort feel uh, but here it's a bit different what we have done with the active uh, is uh, use the driver assistance systems to support the active uh, uh, to support the ambient lighting and a uh, used case is i am sitting in the car i am exiting if there is a motorcyclist coming and approaching uh, this car the entire light on my right will show as red which means i should not now open the door panel uh, even while uh, when the active brake assist is on and if it detects a risk of collision the lighting will turn to red it only makes the driver a bit more aware than what it is so this is a clear example of what technology can do you how can it be assisted for the driver so that we can ensure safety for the passengers as well as for the pedestrian or for the cyclist outside the car now let me uh, you know go from the driver seat and move on to the rear seat and let's look at what it has to offer on the rear
So even in the rear seat, I think uh, what we have given is again a Napa leather with a comfortable headrest uh, that you see here. The seats can be electrically adjusted, so there are enough buttons uh, to use them. It's quite comfortable. I am six odd feet com comfortably resting here. Uh, there are also climatized seats, so it offers both the heating and the ventilation functions both on these seats. So quite comfortable for the customer. And also this MBUX rear tablet. This can also be used to check on the audio, on the air conditioning. So you can also use it from rear of the car. The next big thing that we see for our customers is also the concern for their health. And here, uh, this car now comes with a HEPA filter. And maybe uh, it's also available in many cars today, but there is a difference. Most of the car makers install filters inside the car. However, the pollutants which are outside the car uh, still comes in. With Energizing Air Control Plus that's there in this car, we are able to filter the air inside and also ensure that any air which comes inside is 99.65% uh, clear of particulate matter and of all sizes that's filtered. Apart from this, we are also able to take out the sulfur dioxide, the nitrogen dioxide and the other gases that comes in and this also is possible because of an activated charcoal filter that's there on the AC vent. The next level of innovation, if you look at this car, is using Mercedes Me Connect. Uh, a customer can use his mobile phone using the pre-entry climate control function. He can ensure that he activates the cleaning air inside the car. So before he gets into the car, he steps down from his house. Uh, the car is clean with fresh air, 99.65% purified air. So he gets into a better com comfort zone. And it's an another example how we use technology, connectivity and the car features to seamlessly deliver better customer experience. The other thing before I exit from the rear seat is also the surround sound system. It's Beomister, 15 speakers, output of 710 watts. Uh, it's, it's quite um, uh, state of the art. And to top it all, uh, I will talk about the AMG sound a bit later. But this, again, in the front unit, you can actually download and install Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, all on the hyper screen. You can give voice commands. You can play your favorite playlist. So it's, it's as much of getting your favorite playlist into the car, and then you can use it seamlessly. Let me now exit here and then come to a different part. As I mentioned about sound, uh, you know, uh, AMG and sound goes with each other quite closely. And here, many of our customers buy an AMG because of the sound. With the AMG sound experience, we are giving a new voice to our customers. An AMG typical driving sound plays from the speakers while they drive. Let me make you hear some notes. So this is just an example of the sound. Uh, the, this emotionally enhances the AMG driving experience. Quite signature to it. There is a lot on this car when it comes to acoustics. Uh, I won't go into the details, but I think the press note captures a lot on what we have done to increase the acoustic elements, what our sound engineers have done. So a lot on the story on acoustics on the EQS. The other feature which comes as a standard is the rear axle steering here. Uh, I think this is again a big favorite among our customers. But in AMG, the, the steering angle is up to 9 degrees and it enhances the ride and handling. This reduces the turning radius to a compact class level. Uh, a car as big as 5.2 meters one won't realize when you drive this car thanks to the rear axle steering uh, possibilities here with the EQS AMG. Safety has been a an hallmark and is uh, actually a standard in Mercedes-Benz. And this car also comes with a 5-star Euro NCAP certified. It also comes with 9 airbags and knee bag as standard on the driver's side. Also, the latest generation of driver resistance systems, including numerous ADAS features. Uh, it offers level 2 when it comes to ADAS with the attention functions working towards active safety. I also shared inside that there are two cameras which can actually detect whether uh, and actually do a face recognition when I enter in the car. The other role of these cameras is also to take up attention assist functionality. So 10 years back, we were the first to introduce attention assist in cars. Now with these cameras, it can detect micro sleep. And with this micro sleep warning, uh, these cameras can actually ensure that the driver is alerted on time to avoid any fatal incidents. Also on safety, EV, this is a big topic when it comes to EVs, anxiety, is it safe, what can happen? And we have ensured that it redefines newer safety concepts. 
the battery the high voltage cables and other hv components have all been designed and protected to meet mercedes benz's high safety requirements in event of an accident also this car is filled with sensors it has 350 sensors it's exceptionally intelligent and these 350 plus sensors they record distances speeds acceleration lighting conditions temperatures seat occupancy just to name a few so it's loaded with a lot of tech lot of sensors to make it perform to the, at the highest level also when it comes to customization you know our our customers also need color options we have six paint options on the amg three of them are manufacturer colors that adds to the exclusive appeal of this car the nautic blue that you see on the right uh, which i draw out the graphite gray the obsidian black the hyacinth red diamond white and my personal favorite here is the uh, selenite gray magno paint as such then uh, moving on uh, let's shift to another topic before i uh, exit the overall product presentation and which is to do with charging now it's it's conventional uh, cars have a range calculator that relies from the past data the navigation and electric intelligence in this car looks into the future the car plans the fastest and the most convenient route including charging stops based on numerous factors like traffic jams driving style availability of charging stations and the entire mbux interface is so intuitive you can just ask the car hey mercedes will my battery charge be sufficient to travel to nasik or how do can i come back home after going to pune for example and it will be able to calculate not only the charge but also let you know what are the options available on your way to charge this car at what kilowatt so that's quite intelligent this also comes uh, with a range uh, which is wltp tested for 529 to 586 kilometers i can only say that we have tested this car in india it reflects similar kind of range even in indian conditions This car can be charged up to 200 kilowatt at fast charging stations with direct current, and up to 22 kilowatt using an AC charger, using the onboard AC charger which I showed uh, right there on the boot. The EQS 53 can also be charged from 10 to 80 percent in 30 minutes using a DC fast charger. By this time, you know we don't just stop. As Mercedes-Benz India, uh, you, you know we have always been reinventing the game. We won't stop here just by giving a good car. it's also important to see how our customers in india can get the mercedes benz charged quickly and conveniently to talk a bit more about the charging infrastructure and our plans i hand it over back to martin it was a pleasure presenting this fantastic piece of engineering innovation to all of you over to you martin for the big announcement that we have been waiting thank you thank you very much santosh as we expand our product portfolio we have put forth now concrete plans to expand our charging infrastructure as well by the end of 2022 mercedes benz india will set up the largest oem charging network in india which will cover 80% of the country this charging network will comprise of 140 chargers and it will be a mix of 22 kilowatt chargers 60 kilowatt super fast chargers and 180 ultra fast dc chargers with this ultra fast charging network i am convinced that our customers can travel without any worry together with our franchise partners we are investing around 15 crore to create this comprehensive charging network This will give our customers the widest reach of our OEM backed charging network in India till date. With this charging network, we hope our customers will have complete confidence that their car will never run out of charge. Traveling to popular destinations across the country will be completely free of range anxiety. with with strategic charging pit stops in between if you are traveling for example mumbai to goa you can stop stop early at navi mumbai pune or kolhapur similarly traveling from delhi to shimla gives you an opportunity to stop at karnal or chandigarh the same is true for example for travel from chennai to kochi We have mapped 
all major travel routes across India to provide worry-free recharge. Our customers can take a quick coffee break at the Mercedes Cafe or shop from our collections in the store. S and in parallel to their car recharges. With the convenience offered to the customers, we are confident the short waiting time during charging will become even more enjoyable. Even at odd hours, the customers will enjoy the hospitality and convenience offered by our franchise partners. Our ultra-fast charging network will be made exclusively available to Mercedes-Benz customers round the clock. Customers can charge their vehicles free of cost for the first year. The car itself comes with an industry first service interval of two years or 30 kilometers. And also an industry first, we provide 10 years of warranty on the battery. Finally, we are here at the important slide. The Mercedes EQS 53 Formatic Plus is priced at 2.45 crore. Services and finance packages are available as always. With this, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the launch. But we will meet all again soon. I'm delighted to announce that the Made in India EQS will roll out from our Chakan plant next month. We are right now ramping up the production. You will see glimpses of it in our social handle soon. And we look forward to seeing all of you once again at that lounge in Pune. Thank you very much and uh, back to you, Jim. Thank you, Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, with that we come to the end of this event. I invite all photojournalists to come to the stage and see the EQS showcase. This will be followed by lunch. There are media engagements planned for all of you and our PR colleagues will be in touch with you for the same. Thank you once again.